I'm Dennis Tui. I'm an actor and broadcaster. These days I live in Rostreva, County Down, beside the waters of Carlingford Lock. Problem? Yeah, one of my private patients has been taken in for emergency surgery. You have to go in? Probably. No. What was I saying? Karen. Two weeks in Lanzarote. Look, you old her. I'm the lucky one. Amen, amen. Wherefore rejoice? What conquest brings he home? What tributaries follow him to Rome to grace in captive bonds his chariot wheels? You blocks, you stones, you worse than senseless things. Do you not Pompey? And do you now put on your best attire? And do you now strew flowers in his way that comes in triumph over Pompey's blood? Be gone. You've been working for me for six years. You're the best mechanic I've got. I'd love to tell you take all the time you want, but my accountant's on my case. And to be honest with you, he advised me to stop paying him a month ago. I'm doing this off my own back. Thanks again, James. A busy mind is a happy mind. That's why I'm in the position I'm in today. I just get on with things. My sermon on the meaning of the manor in the wilderness can be adapted to almost any occasion, joyful, or as in the present case, uh, distressful. <laughs> I have preached it at harvest celebrations, christenings, confirmations, days of humiliation, festal days. The last time I delivered it uh, was in the cathedral. A charity sermon on behalf of the Society for the Prevention of Discontent among the Upper Classes. In a BBC arts film, I told the story of Olive Swansea, a nurse from Newry who served in France during World War I. At 7.30 a.m. on the 1st of July 1916, the Battle of the Somme began. No one could have imagined it would be the bloodiest day in British military history. The number of casualties was so enormous that more nurses were urgently needed. Olive found herself at Field Hospital Number 12 on the racetrack outside Rouen in France. I travelled around a great deal. The cities swept by me like dead leaves. Leaves that were brightly coloured but torn away from the branches. I would have stopped, but I was pursued by something. It always came upon me unawares, taking me completely by surprise. All at once, my sister would touch my shoulder. I turn round and look into her eyes. Laura, Laura, I tried to leave you behind, but I was more faithful than I intended to be. I'm Dennis Toohey. I'm an actor and broadcaster.